Hi guys, this is Stacey from TycoonFactory.com and this is the first video in a short series of trainings on Facebook ads. And I wanted to first of all show you um, ad research on Facebook, um, so how to use audience insights in order to find who you should be targeting in your Facebook campaigns. Now, if you don't know what any of this means, don't worry, it'll make sense as we go along. Uh, but this is the first stage of creating an ad. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come into the ads manager and up here you're going to click this three little line symbol and you scroll down to where it says audience insights. Now if you don't see this because sometimes it doesn't, if you haven't used it recently, you can click all tools down here and it will come up over here. So we're going to click on audience insights. Now the first step is to think about your competitors. So for example, the people who you may be um, targeting with your ads, think about who they might be interested in. So, for example, if you were running a um, business type offer, you might look at people like Frank Kern. And just start and add some of these in here. And it'll start and give you ideas of um, different industries and interests that you can also add in there so let's add some of those in so frank kern we've got let's just narrow this business and industry down a little bit and scroll down to online and so you can see it's giving you ideas that you can add to this list so let's add a few of these in digital marketing and we've got display advertising just pick the ones that are relevant to your niche or to the people that you're targeting email marketing online advertising and what you want to do is to continue to add these in so we're going to add a few more in there um let's put another person in so let's put in somebody like uh russell brunson um another business person could be um let's see if ezra firestone's in no okay let's try uh dan kennedy that's clearly not the same dan kennedy because that's a soccer player not the internet marketing guy uh tony robbins So you've got a few options for Tony Robbins there. So you can just continue to add some of these things that are really targeted uh, to your audience and it'll start and give you an idea of insights. So for example, the demographics of people who like all of these things, are um, you can see that the majority of the people are between the ages of 25 to 34. And you've got kind of a half and half split between men and women. So straight away, you know that for your ad, you are going to be targeting both men and women, ideally between the ages of 25 and 34. So that's your first going to be your first target when you come to create your ad. So that's the first thing that you need to write down once you've put all your interests in. So make a note of some of these interests on a piece of paper as you're going, but also write down your first part of your target, which is... Um, half and half because you're targeting men and women so both men and women and the ages of 25 to 34 if that's your kind of largest group as we scroll down it'll start to give you some other um information about these people so as you can see we've got things like um spouses and houses so that'll tell you that um these are people that are dominated by middle income uh childless couple couples and you can kind of have a look at some of these, but they're not majorly important when you come to make your ad, but you can certainly utilize some of this information. But as we scroll down, you'll see the relationship status. So you've got a 37% to 38%, um, 37% to 38% of the audience are single or married. So it may be that you want to target, target single and married people rather than people who are in a relationship or engaged when it comes to creating your ad. Education level, 62% have college education. So it means that you're probably going to target people who have college education in your ad. 
you can target people who work in certain industries so you could do that so for example 33 percent of the people who are interested in these topics work in sales so you could target people who worked in sales in your ad and you just want to be writing all of these demographics down for when we come to actually create the ad later and there's other options you can also look at so if we go on to page likes this tells you the kind of pages these people are interested in so we've got software companies we've got websites we've got tv channels we've got artists um, we've got news and media now sometimes it'll have public figures here and it'll give you even more people to add into this list over here locations target by uh, geographical locations so you can target via texas see all of these are coming in from the united states so it makes sense to make your ads targeted within the united states um activities so this talks about um the time the selected audience performed actions on facebook um so you can just start and write down some of this information device users so you've got um desktop users mobile 60 percent of people who are interested in these things are using mobile. Now that's huge. That means if you target your ads just to mobile only, you're going to be getting the majority of the audience, but you're going to be getting really specific audience members. So the people that are more likely to be interested in your product or service. So that's it for this guys. Have a play around with that. I know that's been a short video, but it's such a massive section um, and such a massive part of what you're going to be doing because targeting is one of the most important parts of creating a facebook ad believe it or not um so have a play around with that make sure you kind of write down all of these things particularly in the demographic section uh write down the gender the ages the locations the languages uh relationship status education uh, jobs if you want to all of these things are going to mean that when you come to create your ad your ads are going to be super targeted to people who like what it is that you're offering so have a play around with that, make a start with it, write your things down and have them ready for the next video in the series where we're going to be creating an ad. Okay guys, I hope that's been helpful and I shall speak to you soon.